Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. You know, I love that the restaurant business is just constantly changing and evolving. There's new restaurants are always opening and new menus are always rolling out. So there's always something interesting to talk about. And here's a good example. Place is called Mission Beach House. Brand new, cool spot. And all of a sudden it's like Revere Beach has become a hotbed for cool upscale restaurants. This is a beautiful spot located on the second floor of a brand new hotel. So every seat in the place has a view of the ocean and the beach and you can sit inside, you can sit on the big patio, you can get an awesome espresso martini at the bar. The menu includes a lot of local seafood, of course, but there are a lot of international twists. The ownership and the culinary team, they come from places like Brazil and Guatemala, so there is a lot of South American and Central American and Latin twists. You can definitely get a lobster roll here, and it is absolutely packed with fresh meat, but you can also get a lobster empanada. Nice and crispy on the outside, sweet and tender on the inside. I also love their shrimp ceviche, very fresh and refreshing. But I think the best dish here is called the El Diablo. It is a classic pasta bolognese, but it is kicked up, made with some slow braised beef and pork and chorizo, along with some tomato sauce and red chili flakes. So it is deliciously spicy. Now here's another place I gotta tell you about with some interesting news. One of my all time favorite Greek restaurants, a place called Astia. They have two locations down the Cape. They're in Mashpee and in Falmouth. Their Mashpee location just finished a major expansion and a full remodel. It is basically double the size now and it is absolutely beautiful. Everything from the furniture to the lighting to the bar, just a gorgeous space. And the Falmouth location is really nice as well, including an awesome outdoor patio, of course, for the nice weather. And in terms of authentic and sort of upscale Greek cuisine, you really cannot do much better. Their famous Greek salad is just presented so beautifully, it is almost a shame to eat it. They do brick oven pizzas, great bread, imported olive oil. If you are a lamb lover, you gotta get the rack of lamb that has a pistachio crust. But I think my all-time favorite Greek comfort food here, they do it well, is the pasticcio. This is like the Greek answer to lasagna. It is a big portion. It is very hearty, made with layers of perfectly seasoned and spiced ground beef, long macaroni pasta, and it's topped with a rich layer of bechamel sauce. And as we're talking about the latest restaurant news, here's some breaking news for you, especially if you like fried chicken. A place called Dave's Hot Chicken has just opened their first location in New England. This place has a a huge cult following around the country. They have big plans for further expansion in the region. They are famous for their graffiti style street art, which is different at every location. They bring in artists from California to make the interior look super cool. The whole place was started in LA. The chefs have fine dining backgrounds, but their mission was to create the ultimate Nashville style hot chicken. So the menu is just very straightforward, just fried chicken tenders or sliders and some tasty sides. The chicken comes in seven different spice levels from no spice to reaper, but I think you always have to get the mac and cheese, some kale slaw, and definitely you want to get a nice creamy milkshake to wash down that spicy chicken.